Hey guys, King Kade here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be seeing which car is the best on a dusty trip. Let's get right into this. So we are going to be comparing all three cars, the regular car, the van, and also the truck, and seeing which one is the best. Let's go ahead and hop straight into a match. So once we're in the game, the van and the truck are both in the back right here. Also, by the way, the truck will only appear if you go ahead and buy the game pass. But the van and the truck are over here, and then the regular car is in the front right over here. So first, we're going to rate them off of a assembly first so this one assembly is probably the most difficult just because the pieces are so scattered around even in the basement as well so you do have to do quite a bit of running around to be able to fully assemble this car so that is quite annoying at times but an upside to assembling this car is you are able to find more doors and stuff around the map for the other cars such as the truck and the van you aren't able to find more doors for them around the map but for this one you are so if one of the doors on this car breaks or you lose one then you are able to find one in buildings around the map so that is an upside we now have this one fully assembled and before we look at it farther let's also go ahead and assemble these other ones so the van and the truck are by far the easiest ones to assemble because all the parts you need are already laying out here so you don't have to do any sort of running all you have to do is just go ahead and put them on the only parts that you would need to run inside for are the engine and radiator and gas but other than that they're all out here besides for the truck the truck the engine radiator and gas are already outside so you can just go ahead and use those so the truck is also easy to assemble because all this stuff is already out here so it's very easy to just go ahead and walk up and toss it in so we have all the cars right here by the way for the truck i just put the big wheels on because i ran out of small wheels but to be honest the truck would probably work better with these big wheels anyway but anyway let's go ahead and start testing these cars so first off we are going to check the field of view so when we go ahead and sit down we're going to be seeing how much we can look at so this is the van right here this is how much we can see and then this is with the regular car right here it's a little bit more difficult to see because we have this big front right here But it is overall still pretty easy and then this is with the truck right here as you can see You can barely see anything and also you may just think it's because of these giant wheels right here But even with these small wheels the regular size ones, it's still just as bad You can barely see anything so just this right here makes the truck vehicle not worth using The truck does have a pretty big trunk that you can go ahead and put stuff in But this is pretty much useless because you don't really put things in there because you can just attach them like if you weren't able to click z to attach things and you had to just toss them in like this this would actually be very helpful but you can actually just go ahead and attach things by clicking z so that pretty much makes this entire trunk useless same with this one over here it's pretty much useless especially since there's like barely any space like you're not really fitting much in this trunk bed right here so it's pretty much useless since you can just go ahead and attach things to the car itself that's also why the van over here is so popular because it has so much area along the side that you can just go ahead and and grab anything and then you can just easily attach it to the side like that so that's why the van is actually the best vehicle and that is why i use it because i can attach so many gas cans to the side of it so then i can just be stacked up on oil water and gas but these ones over here they have very little space to go ahead and attach things and the trunk right here is pretty much useless and also it's very small it's even smaller than the truck the truck this one isn't even good either because sometimes it's also pretty hard to even attach things. like if i go ahead and grab this fuel can over here and if i go ahead and try to attach it it doesn't even really attach touch the bottom so it is pretty much useless unless you're grabbing stuff and then tossing it in like that but i don't think anyone's doing that because if you hit like a bump or something this is gonna easily fly out also the van i mainly use it like look at this you can easily see out of it compared to the truck over here where if we go ahead and sit inside it we can barely see anything such as if there's a rock in the middle of the road you're probably not gonna see it unless it's far away because you like can't even see the road in front but one of the benefits of the truck is the built-in headlights these headlights right here they can come out so that means they also can be knocked out so if you go ahead and click this button as you can see it has interior lights and then it also has these two headlights which are pretty nice because then that provides tons of light for you to go ahead and see and they can be knocked out so that is a benefit but i mean i guess they don't really light up too much since you can like barely see up there but for this car right here you have to go ahead and place in the headlights and they are able to fall out same with this car right here but yeah overall the van is the best because these ones just aren't too good this one does have a benefit i guess which is the engine which this engine right here is actually special because it allows you to go twice as fast but it absolutely drains your gas like this is going to cost you 50 liters of gas just to get to the 5,000 meter mark so yeah there's like no way you should use this one right here this isn't the same as the one on the inside it looks the same but it is actually different because it makes you go twice as fast the regular one is inside and it is that one right there so each of these do have benefits and downsides i would say the main benefit of this one in the middle right here is that you can find these parts around the 
the map. So if I go ahead and accidentally lose one of these doors, like it gets broken or shot off or something, then I can easily go ahead and replace it because these buildings and trunk beds are all around the map. So you can easily find them and then replace them and then that will go ahead and protect you from sandstorms. But it's not the same for these ones because for the van right here and also the truck, you aren't able to find these doors around the map. So if you go ahead and lose one of these doors, that's pretty much it because you can't get more of them currently. They might change that in one of the future updates where currently you aren't able to find them around the map. So that is a downside for people who don't have tons of health because that means it's going to be much harder for you in sandstorms. So overall, the van right here is the best. To rank them, I would say the van is the best. This one is the second best. And then the worst one is the truck right here just because of the view. The truck would possibly be like the second best, but the view is just absolutely terrible. So that is what is putting it in last place. But anyway, those are the best and worst cars on a dusty trip though. So that's going to be all for this video. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.